Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Bite the Bites helping. Today, I wanted to share with you guys a very cool application that launched in the Apple App Store. It is called Google Maps, and I've been waiting for this one because, as you might already know, in iOS 6, Apple replaced their Google Maps with their own Apple Maps, and it was a big failure. Uh, I had a lot of issues myself getting to places with this new uh, Apple Maps. Hopefully, they, uh, they improve this, but for now, Google Maps is available in the Apple App Store for free, and it's very well built and is a great application. I've been testing it now for a day that's been out and it's been working perfect. Google Maps is the best. Now Google Maps was the original Maps uh, application for all Apple devices before iOS 6 and like I said Apple removed it and had all those issues. You can find Google Maps in the Apple App Store for free. You can go ahead and search it right now. It works in every single iOS device. Now when you uh, launch the application at first here I'm going to give you a quick rundown of some of the new features and things it can do. Uh, up here you have your traffic. You can get your traffic information. As you can see there, the streets light up in green. Let you know that traffic is flowing correctly. Uh, now, it is best use of this application if you log in with your Google account. As you can see there, uh, public the public transit information is not available uh, because I am not logged into uh, my Google account and I'll show you what that means in a minute. Uh, but you do have public transit, very important for big cities. A lot of people wanted that. You can also check out your satellite view which gives you you know, a Google Earth kind of satellite view to uh, things. Uh, and down here in this bottom tab you can also search more Google applications in the Apple App Store. Now, uh, up top here you also have your uh, login uh, page. You can go ahead and log in once you sign in. It lets you set up your, you know, your home address. Uh, set up some favorite uh, locations and things like that. You can go ahead and log in and do that. Uh, it's best that you do log in. The application works best that way. Now, uh, if you tap it here, it'll get your current location. Let me go ahead and search one of the uh, just uh, a place here, uh, the Philadelphia International Airport. Just just for the purpose of this video, it gives you the phone number. You can save it. You can share it. Uh, it gives you uh, public information, the website information here. Um, you also get reviews. I mean, this application is very, very nice. Uh, as you can see there, the website and image of the airport. Uh, you can go ahead and tap on this little blue car up here, and it gives you different routes. And you can see there, you can avoid tolls if you like, and it just gives you different routes for you to select. It gives you route options and advanced options for route. You'll also select uh, by public transit or by walking if you're at a, in the city and you want to get to a certain place. Uh, you can go ahead and switch that. And uh, once you select the route that you want to take, it starts uh, giving you the turn-by-turn -turn directions. If you tap down here on the start, as you can see, east on Springside, as you can see there, spoken turn-by-turn -turn directions by Google Maps for free in the Apple App Store. So uh, I hope you guys really go ahead and check this one out. This application is very, very cool. So uh, go check it out, guys. It is free Google Maps for all iOS devices that support iOS 6. So if you like this video, guys, please thumbs up and hit the like button. I really do appreciate it, like always, and it helps me out a lot. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All the links will be down below, and don't forget to stay up to date with the latest information on iOS devices by going to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com. It's been iDevice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.